This year marks the 50th anniversary of Chinese-French diplomatic relations. In a look back to the Sino-French relationship, China's senior diplomat Wu Jianmin has praised the ongoing cooperation between the two countries. China View has more. China's senior diplomat and former Chinese ambassador to France Wu Jianmin recalls the day China and France established their diplomatic friendship. It's no exaggeration to say that when China and France established diplomatic relations in 1964, it was a diplomatic atomic explosion. The 1960s was a bipolar era. When both the U.S. and the U.S.S.R. were unhappy to see this scenario, Wu explains the diplomatic difficulties China faced during the early 1960s. China had fallen out with the Soviet Union, and China had sponsored Vietnam in its fight with the United States. China was battling with India in 1962, and we also suffered serious famine in early 1960s. All of these difficulties were accumulating at such a difficult time. France tendered an alive branch. The 1964 hallmark made France the first major Western country to establish diplomatic relations with China. 1973, former President Georges Pompidou became the first Western leader to visit here. The two countries later signed China's first intergovernmental scientific cooperative agreement in 1978. Charles de Gaulle was the first Western leader who saw China's potential. He said China would be a big economy. Over the 50-year friendship, China's trade volume with France has increased from 100 million U.S. dollars in 1964 to over 50 billion dollars in 2013. Wu said, despite the strong relationship, there have been tensions in recent years, with some French worried about job losses as a result of China's growth. This is caused by globalization. China has utilized its population advantages. French has its own advantages. We are complementary. I met President Francois Hollande last year. He said the French government sees China's rise as an opportunity rather than a threat. A series of celebrations is planned in Beijing and Paris to mark the 50th anniversary.